Corner. Corner. I'm here with my friend Violet. Hello, Violet. Hi, Miss Drap Show. How are you? I'm great. It's sunny out and I am in a good mood. I can tell. Boy, you look pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I see you have on your beautiful spring dress. <gasps> yes. I picked this out because of the sunshine today and it has a flower for spring. Wow, it's very beautiful. And, and I notice you have a little barrette in your hair. I know my mom did my hair and she matched, look at, she look, look, look. I look, see she, that. She matched my barrette to my she shirt. She did, she did. She did a very good job. Thank so you. what school do you go to, Violet? I go to Deal Elementary. Wow, that's such a nice school. I love Deal Elementary. I love my school. Wow. Well, let me just say a little bit about the book. This is not my hat is the title of the book. And the author and illustrator is John Classen. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going to be about a fishy. It is about a fish. Good eye. Good eye, miss. And do you notice anything else on the cover? Um, it has a gold spot with a horsey on it. Yes, that's a medal. It's called the Caldecott Medal. And the Caldecott Medal is given for a book that has very, very good illustrations. Illustrations. My teacher, Mrs. Russell, told us that illustrations is another word for pictures. She's right. Is Mrs. Russell your teacher? Uh-huh. Oh, uh -huh. she is a fine teacher. Let's say hi, Mrs. Russell. Hi, Mrs. Russell. And to all the other kids at Deal Elementary. Hi. Everybody at Deal. Yes. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know who the principal is over at Deal? Have you been sent to the principal's <gasps> office? I never have gone to the principal's office, but I know who he is. He's very tall, Mr. Gilmore. Mr. Gilmore, very Hi, good. Hi, Mr. Gilmore. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Gilmore. So, shall we start reading our book? Yeah, okay. Let's read. I'm going to open it up, and we shall read. Yay! This is Not My Hat by John Classen. So do you think, Violet, you could pay special attention to the illustrations? Okay. I'll pay special right. attention to the pictures. This hat is not mine. I just stole it. Stole it? You're not allowed to steal. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. <gasps> and he probably won't wake up for a long time. Miss Drapshow. Miss Drapshow. Yes, Violet. His eye is open. I Ugh. think he's awake right now. You're very observant. Shall we read on? Yes. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. I think he's going to notice. Maybe that was his favorite hat. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me <gasps> who took it. <gasps> yes. Look at Look at his eye. I, I think he's mad. He looks eye, mad. His eye does he look angry. Mad. Yes. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I am going. He's on the move, though. Look at, see the bubbles? The bubbles. But I will tell you where I am going. I am going where the plants grow, big and tall big. and close together. Close together. It's very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me. But there is someone who saw me already. But he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. I see a crab. I see a crab. So I am not worried about that. Uh, oh, look at that crab. He's pointing in the direction that that little fishy went. I know it's wrong to steal a hat. I know it does not belong to me, but I am going to keep it. It was too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. It does look kind of cute on him. And look, I made it where the plants are big and tall and close Ooh. together. Close call, uh-oh. I knew I was going to make it. <gasps> that big fishy is close. And look at his eyes, he doesn't look happy. Does not look happy at all. Nobody will ever find me. Uh-oh. <gasps> I can't see anybody. I can't see the little fish, but I can't see the big fish either. <gasps> Where'd the little fish go? Hey! Hey, Miss Drab Show, he's got the hat back on his head. Mm, Violet, what do you think that means that he has the hat back on his head? Do you think the little fishy got scared and swam away? Maybe. Do you think that maybe Mr. Big Fish ate our little small fish? I don't know. There are a number of things that could have happened, right? I guess, but boy, what, if what you What do got... you think, Violet? What do you think happened? 
I think you shouldn't steal a hat or you're going to get eaten by a big fish. <laughs> I think you're right. So we aren't going <gasps> to. It's a mystery. It kind of is a mystery, but what do, what do we think happened? Well, another big word that my teacher taught me was infer. So I'm going to infer that the big fish ate the little fish. I, I think that that's a, a very good use of infer. Yay! I was right! I was right! Yeah, you were. You were. Um, so, do you think that all the kids would come up with that solution? Mm, what was your other? What was your other? What was your maybe other solution? Maybe someone more optimistic might think that the little fish got away. Do you think maybe that little fish was swimming so fast the hat just flew off his head? And <gasps> the big he, fish got He it? could have. We should maybe hope for that. Yeah. We but you know, when you steal things, bad things happen. So. That's the truth. So should we always do what we're supposed to do? We should. We should always yes. do what we're supposed to do. Yes, we should. It makes our mom and dad happy. It does. Does it make Mr. Gilmore happy? <gasps> Mr. Gilmore is ecstatic when we do the right thing at Deal Elementary. Mm -hmm. What about Mrs. Russell? Oh, Mrs. Russell, uh, she smiles so big when we do the right thing. She probably does. She's probably very, very happy. We like to make her smile. We do. We, we like to make Mrs. Russell smile. So, shall we smile? and say goodbye to Mrs. Russell.